Order Commander, initiate execute launch command on my mark. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Mark. It's a very safe and secure missile system. But just like anything else that's that's 50 years old, any kind of machine like that, think about your car. If your car was 50 years old and you didn't take I mean, intricate care, due diligence, making sure every oil change was made, making sure every part worked perfectly. And then as time goes on, too, technology changes. And as technology becomes more uh, accessible that they didn't have in the early days, then we can look at how does that make the system more efficient. So right now, we're, we're, we're massaging this missile every single day. This weapon system needs some tender love and care to make sure that it's ready to go. There's kind of two big reasons behind why we do these test launches. One is to test that system. Um, obviously, you don't want to just have these missiles out there, the operational ICBMs out at these sites, and never do consistent checkups to make sure that the computer system is doing what it's supposed to do. We're always assuring our allies on the, uh, the ability of the United States to employ this weapon system correctly, safely, and with extreme accuracy. It's like sharpening a sword. And in order to maintain any, any operational environment, you have to continue to train it, you have to continue to sharpen it, you have to continue to look at the information. Um, and as time goes on, we take all that telemetry data and that hones our engineering perspective of what we need to do to maintain the system. If we don't fly it, you won't know it. We're out here for a missile pull. Uh, we're getting the boosters down stages out of the launch tube. Yeah, the conditions aren't ideal, but it doesn't matter. I mean, you come out here, you get the job done, you're working with your team, and you make the best of it. This process is something that we would do for any maintenance operation that requires that level of maintenance. Every time we do a test launch from Vandenberg, the crew's out in the field, uh, remove the vehicle from the site. So it's just uh, a lot of just care and pride in what you do because the system's old. And then also a pride that, you know, people have come before you and done it. You know, this mission doesn't stop. Uh, it's got to keep going, you know, no matter what. And what you're seeing out here today is just a manifestation of that. These maintainers, these airmen that come out here and pull these missiles work in all sorts of weather, uh, it's just another day. We just don't have the supply resources that we once had. Uh, but it's still extremely safe, extremely reliable. The age of the weapon system becomes an issue more so on the back end. Um, so replacement of parts is a big one. You go to replace something that is necessary for the weapon system, go to order the part, only to find out that the manufacturer of that part went out of business 20 years ago. Uh, we're the first line of defense. So if anything were to happen um, out here at these masts, out at the launch facilities, we'd be the first responders. My job is really, to me, it's uh, highly privileged to be out here and serve along great people to make sure that nothing happens to those uh, nuclear weapons and components. The reality is the people that do this, they have such discipline, and that's part of the training. That's why we continue to do this and demonstrate it. We validate the training, we validate the systems, and I think that uh, anyone in the world that looks at this uh, can see that with great respect both adversaries and allies. We directly support uh, nuclear movements and we support nuclear deterrence. We'll be that over presence to deter anyone from thinking about doing anything for this asset. Yeah, it's a big deal. It's just, uh, there's a lot going on, just making sure everything's, you know, everyone's on, on their A game that day, making sure everything's staying safe. Uh, we're all you know, aware of the situation, aware of what may be going on outside. We have very quick response rates, so when we're moving nuclear assets, we are 
one of the first uh, lines of defense. All the processes that we're doing here at Vandenberg to, to establish the missile ready to launch um, are mimicked from the actual operational processes that we use out in the field. The sites that they're using here are essentially replicas of that same uh, that, that same site. But once it's finally up on alert and uh, you hear the countdown going down and finally see it launch, you just kind of get a uh, a wave of, of relief kind of going over you, knowing that you did your job right and um, this thing will launch uh, no matter what. Vandenberg is a, is a unique place in that every missile system we've ever built, we've uh, fielded here at Vandenberg. We have grown to know the system the best. We have constantly tested it, um, which is what we're doing right here right now. We're constantly testing it. And through its long history, we've done nothing but try to improve it. All right, select interrogation for main menu. Target selected. Five, four, three, two, one, mark.